my name is Brina Wilson, and today I wanted to show and explain myself as a reader. When I was a baby, I would always enjoy books, both colorful and soft, so I could chew on them, of course. As a little girl, my mom and I would always read books, both day and night. Usually, I always loved reading books to her, but we would go back and forth, and she'd help me learn new words as I go along. Once I started school and we started reading chapter books, ugh, that was the worst part. I didn't like those long chapter books. Half of them didn't even have pictures. Just words, 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 and more words. And the teacher always gave us more books to read. I could sit in my room for hours flipping through books, reading them, sometimes even just looking at the pictures. I even started a collection of all my favorite books so I could reread them whenever I wanted to. At my new school, we had a huge reading loft in our classroom. Every student each day had about 10 to 15 minutes to go up there, pick a favorite book, and just relax. Here are some of my favorite books I still read to this day. A childhood favorite, actually. There was a little old lady who swallowed a fly. A fly? Gross! Next up, just Grandma and Me, a true classic about a little boy who goes to the beach with his grandmother. Hmm, kind of sounds like me and my grandmother. No, David! Another one you can't resist to read. I think we all know a little kid who's bad like this. Arthur, my favorite all-time book collection. In fact, I still read these to this day, and I still laugh at the things that go on in these stories. Now, as a young adult, my book strategies have kind of moved up, upgraded, if you will. Now I'm into comic books and manga, and I'm going to show you three of my ultimate favorites. Sarah Celestial Maiden, a young girl who finds out she was once an angel who fell from heaven. Next, Mystique, a secret agent who's also still working for the X-Men crew. And lastly, a Korean drama called Boys Over Flowers about a poor girl who falls in love with the richest boy in all of the school. Thank you all for watching my video and learning about me as a reader. And you finally realized I love and adore books and will continue to read books.